Linear algebra. Yes, there is more than one kind of algebra, and darn it, it's important. Linear algebra is really one of the most incredible things that you're going to use in almost all of your programming. Linear algebra and matrices, these are going to be part of your life for the rest of reality. Uh, linear algebra are objects, mathematical objects that behave like this. If you have elements in the domain, whatever that is, u and v, uh, when you do a, a function, when you transform it or apply the function to it of u plus v, it ends up breaking it apart. It's the same thing as applying the function to u and then v separately. This is huge. It's extremely convenient. And if you have some constant c times whatever your element u is, the c pulls out. Now, believe it or not, you already know linear algebra quite well from your calculus. Uh, calculus, integrals and derivatives behave just like this. Okay, so we have a lot of information to cover. Uh, we need to talk about vectors, vector spaces, bases, and things like that. But before I go there, I really want to talk about matrices and get you comfortable with matrices because primarily, uh, in our work anyway, these are going to be uh, the language and the, the primary tools of linear algebra. So let's remember a matrix. A matrix, for the moment, is simply an array of numbers. Uh, a generic matrix looks like this. A11, A12, A13, oops, terrible three, dot, 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 A1N. And then you'd go down A21, A22, A23, dot, 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 A2N. And then you're going down, 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 down. And this is AM1, AM2, dot, 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 AMN. This is a generic matrix, and these are the rows going this way, and these are the columns coming down this way. So this notation, A, I, J, this is the ith row, and this, we might as well use some color here, is the jth column. Ooh, and this one's a little squishy. Uh, let's see. Um, let's do a little example. How about this matrix? One, two, three, four, five, six. So incidentally, this the matrices are rows by columns. This is an M by N matrix. The number of rows first, there are M rows going down. And the columns are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to n. And incidentally, when I said rows, I went like this. Rows are like this. Okay. So what kind of matrix is this? Well, first, you count the number of rows. There are two rows. So this is a 2 by the number of columns is 1, 2, 3. This is a 2 by 3 matrix. Um, what would be, uh, what character is sitting in A13? Well, to figure this out, you go to the first row, and then you go to the third columns. A13 is 3. Hi, I'm A13. Uh, what about A22? Well, we go to the second row, the second column. This is 5. It's pretty simple. Um, this board needs to be changed over, so we'll be right back. <laughs> 